how to use your smartphone to shoot great and professional videos. And this is possible because smartphones are built for great visuals and great audios. To shoot videos in high quality, in fact, you can have HD and even 4K videos with some of these smartphones. And we have several people who have achieved a lot on social media and built their brands and businesses using just the smartphone. In fact, I only got a professional camera after hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, meaning that before then, I only had my smartphone. The first thing I want to address here is camera shyness. The only solution to camera shyness is practice. Almost everyone started out being uncomfortable with the camera. However, with practice, you get more comfortable, you find your voice and your style. The second important point here is scripting. Have some form of script. Have something to guide you. Because at the moment, attention is the greatest currency and you cannot afford to lose people's attention because the attention span is drastically reducing. And so in your content, if you are all over the place, it will affect everything. There are different ways to approach this. What I advise for my clients and my students is having an outline, either a mental outline or a written out outline. Meaning that somehow in your mind or on a sheet of paper or a software or app, have an idea of what you say from the beginning to the end in an outline form throughout your content stay on topic just go straight in deliver it and then leave with a strong call to action the third thing i want to address here is requirements for shooting a great video using your smartphones number one of course you need a smartphone most likely what you have right now in your hands is sufficient the second thing is a tripod or tripod alternatives a tripod is important to hold your smartphone and allow you the freedom to use your hands to either demonstrate or to do other things to stabilize your video and avoid having a shaky there are different types from the ones that are not adjustable to the ones that are adjustable from the simple ones to even more complex ones. Choose anyone that works with your budget. However, if you don't have or can't afford a tripod, you can simply hold the phone, but make sure that the phone is held steady with minimal movements. Or you can ask someone to hold the phone for you and movements should be smooth or you can improvise if you don't have a tripod. You can stack books together or any item in your home, cardboards or cartons to improvise to hold their phones. Lighting. Lighting is everything when it comes to your video. Well, it's like the second most important thing and the bigger the light, the better. The more the light, the better. Smartphones work better with good lights. You can use ring lights like the ones ladies use for makeup and there are different kinds of lights different budgets choose what works for you and if you don't have lights you can use a big window open the window and make sure you face the window or simply go outside and shoot the video so choose what works for you audio this is the most important aspect of your video <laughs> it's surprising that people can forgive a bad visuals bad video but they hardly forgive a bad audio this should be like the first thing you invest in there are different kind of microphones in different alternatives the built-in microphone comes with your smartphone is good you could start with the inbuilt microphone provided the environment is quiet. However, if you want to up your game, which I strongly encourage, you should get some form of microphone. There are some persons who use their earpiece. Some of those earpieces have great microphones in them. Powerful alternative is getting a lapel or a lavalier microphone. Something like this that can be pinned on your dress or your outfit. And there are several other microphones. In fact, there are some big ones that you can attach to your phones using different kind of adapters whenever you want to buy a microphone or any audio device make sure you go with your smartphone because a lot of smartphones have compatibility issues and make sure that you test it and be sure that it is actually picking the microphone and not the inbuilt mic on your smartphone before you buy editing and a recording app this will help you to edit your video after shooting to remove mistakes and add other things like assets like like button subscribe button b-rolls images videos texts and there are different apps and software 
both for PC and your mobile phones that you can use to edit your video. I love three. In short, CapCut KineMaster. And to record your video, you use the native app that comes with your phone. Now, let's take a look at the practical steps for shooting your videos. Prepare your content. And we've talked about scripting or writing of outline. And if you have written it out on a physical paper, make sure that it is in front of you or somewhere that you can glance at and shoot. Get a suitable location. Less noise. No background noises, children crying or people gisting. The fan is not noisy or AC is not noisy. Less distraction. You don't want to start shooting and then people are distracting you somebody's knocking on the door somebody's passing behind you so make sure that your background is less distracting with calendars different posters different colors you just want your background to be as undistracting as possible if you are finding it difficult getting your background or your backdrop to work try using a plain background and you can play around with colored lights in your backgrounds make sure that your location is well lit if you are using a window make sure you are facing the window and not backing the window and make sure that there is no strong light source behind you if there is a strong light source behind you your face will be dark the third step is set up your tripod you can use the front camera of your phone because it will allow you to see yourself if you are using your hand make sure that you hold your hand out and keep it steady but you can use your back camera for b-roll maybe you want to shoot something other than your face but if you can find a way to use your back camera to shoot your face while making sure you are in focus and in frame do so the fourth thing is prepare your phone for recording it is very important that you have power on your phone so that you don't run out of battery while you are shooting turn on the backlight or the screen light to the maximum the light from the phone will add to the light that is hitting your face have good space on your phone there is nothing as annoying as you are shooting and then you get the alert that there is no enough space on your phone and put your phone on flight mode or airplane mode or do not disturb mode mount your phone on your tripod or give your phone to the person holding it or hold out your phone the right way horizontal mode hold it across not vertically except if you are shooting YouTube shots or any other kind of vertical video but for most of you and for most of the time you are going to hold the phone cross in landscape mode horizontally clean the camera lens because of sweat and smudges and dirt and dust covering the camera lens and this will affect the quality get a clean dry cloth and clean your lens before shooting be sure that your smartphone screen protector is not covering your lens if it is covering your lens get it back to the technical people to cut out the area covering your lens connect the microphone if you are using the inbuilt microphone then you can skip this step but if you are using an earpiece if you are using an external microphone make sure it's connected and working and if you are using an earpiece the earpiece might show in the video don't worry about that next frame your shots are well positioned on the screen and that's why i advise you to use the front camera to shoot your videos because you can see yourself and see your position in the frame make sure there is head room that is space between the top of your head and the stop of the screen and let the video cut just above your breast or your chest and you can choose to position yourself slightly to the left or slightly to the right this is professional positioning and secondly you can have space to write out things when editing and make sure you are not too far to the side or too far to the corner or too close to the camera or too far away from the camera you are not too below or too above no Part of your face is cropped out next make sure that you have the best video camera settings just go straight to the camera and go to the settings of the camera make sure your video is in 16 9 and your resolution is 720p or 1080p or 4k 24 fps 25 fps or 30 fps number 10 record a test video test out everything the visuals and the audios for a few seconds stop play and make sure that the audio is clear and then your positioning is on point and when you're done 
one, go ahead and hit the record button. Make sure you are fully relaxed in talking the way you are talking to a friend. But slightly animated and energetic. So you are talking the way you are talking to a friend, but you are a little bit excited about what you are doing or saying, using your hands, your face, your eyes to express what you are saying. When recording, you can ignore your mistakes pause and continue shooting the video so that when you are editing you can remove out you can cut out the mistakes this is extremely important make sure that the camera is at your eye level don't put it far above or far below if you are using a tripod that is small you can stack up books or any item to raise it to your eye level look at the camera lens. Don't look at yourself on the screen. If you look at yourself on the screen, when the video is done, it will look to your viewers as if you are looking away from them. And so make sure that you are looking at the camera lens, the pinhole, the small hole, camera lens on your phone and not admiring yourself on the screen. And when you're done with all of this, make sure you click here to learn how to edit your videos with the best editing practices using this free app and software. Play big and I'll see you in the next video.